The Het is the biggest, baddest hauling truck the Army has today. But it's also built rugged so that it can go off-road and it can last a long time. You'd have two 55,000-pound winches on the tractor that can winch onto the M1 tank and pull it up on the back of the trailer. Or the M1 tank can go on the trailer on its own power. But why not just drive the tanks themselves to the front lines? The answer is as simple as wear and tear. The M1 tank costs several million dollars, so you've got to keep operational ready. And so it's very important the HET tractor allows you to do that. In combat operations, those countries that don't have HETs have to drive their tanks on their own power. So then when they get to the battlefront, the tanks have sucked a lot of dirt into the system where if the tractor pulls the tank to the front lines, all of a sudden you got a fresh combat ready tank. Surely hauling tanks is easy, right? Hook up a regular rig. Now try to hit the road. You might blow some of those tires, because that is one heavy beast of a tank. These are the HET trailer axles. And as you can see, there's five axles on this thing. It's got 40 individual wheels. You can also see that it's got an elaborate suspension system. Two reasons. One, this is an off-road high mobility vehicle. The other thing is for ease of maintenance. This is the bed of the head trailer. As you can see, it's specially designed to carry the M1 tank on it. It's about 10 feet wide. As you can see, it's got several braces and tie-down rings and so forth. You got to brace the equipment down because it'll carry an M113 armored personnel carrier, containers, bulldozers, you name it, whatever's in the Army inventory, this trailer can haul it. <laughs> 